Oh my god! The surface of the moon! It's full of stars! Hello guys, I'm Morbator, your Welsh engineer. And today we are launching, as we can see on the screen, Series 2, Part 23, Rover Landing on the Dark Side of the Moon. Yes, you've probably seen the, the beginning of the video to see what we meant by Dark Side. Anyway, let's get into the building list because I don't normally show you guys this. And what I'm doing right here, I'm building... Well, I'm going to land the rover, obviously, because that's what's on the front of the rocket. But I want to land it sideways. Or, uh, yeah, that way. <laughs> and that's why we've got the rocket thrusting up. One thing, though, you can't use symmetry snap unless you use... Uh, or is it radial symmetry? Oh, by the way, if you want to be Kerbal, don't forget to type in Kerbal in Kerbal letters. <laughs> Spell it right, otherwise I won't see you when I filter out the comments. Okay, so the, the build of this, if you want to land uh, sideways or downwards, because if we don't, if we land it the right way up, the it's going to be hard to disconnect the rover. And what I'm doing here, I've got the rockets either side, and I'm trying to get them both center of mass, so that the torque that you probably can see in the Kerbal Engine Redux reads close to zero. Now, obviously, it won't show you this now that we've put it the vertical way up, but however. That is what you need to look for, is the center of mass, and make sure that you've got thrust engines either side of that center of mass. That way you've got it balanced. That's what you do when you're doing RCS for touring and that on rockets. I've probably Norm said that so many times during tutorials that I forget that not all of you remember all the tutorials, or have seen the tutorials. Anyway, here we go. Adding some fins to our rocket. And I didn't realize at this point that I didn't put the radial uh, launch enhancers, that's what they're called, all sides of the rocket. And that's why we had the failure first off. Also, there's a problem with the fairing. Some, for some reason, it was causing the rover to explode and go off in a huff and puff and blowing its socks off. Anyway, let's launch this into orbit. Yeah, it's a bit of wobbling on it. But after we decouple those boosters, everything's fine. Okay, so not only do I go into common, uh, um, not only do I add your Kerbals to the episode, because we've got two Kerbals which I've added from the last episode, who were asked in the last episode to be a bit more precise, I also read out your comments. So as we look at all the stats of the craft, which aren't real, they're so like fake ones, we will read out first comment from Finny Oinks first. By the way, I want to be a Kerbal called Chicken Rice. I make him wear pixelated shades and a blunt with a pro props mod. Please do it. I'll have a look at it. I'm not going to say I will, will add it. I might do it just for a bit of fun, actually. Because I won't add everyone as a Kerbal. Otherwise, we get too many things. They'll be asking for this and that and the Kerbal. I'll forget what they want and whatnot. That's why I don't normally do it. And it's bad enough just adding Kerbal names. Yeah, and if you just saw Kerbin over there, the sun has gone behind Kerbin. It's causing a total eclipse of the man. I was hoping by the time that we got down to the surface of the man, the sun would rise, but no. Obviously, he wouldn't, would it? That would be too easy. A right, second comment from Natural Predator. Could you create a missile in the style of North Korea? All you have to do is crash it after a while. By the way, nice vid. <laughs> I could do that, but I think that sounds more Kerbal than North Korea. A rocket explosion, that is. But normally not uh, ballistic missiles. <laughs> I don't know what North Korea's thinking. They've gone terrible. Anyway, if you're wondering what the sparkling is down below, that's the scatter out. That's stock in the game. That's not a mod, by the way. And it's just... I don't know why they reflect, because there's no sunlight sun shining on them. Perhaps it's because of the ambient light, I'm not sure. Anyway, now is the hard part. What I forgot to do with this, I forgot to add a pro core above the rover, on the top of the rover, so it can point upwards. That's what you really need when you're doing this, so I had to judge it. I used the SAS to point sideways. And all I'm really doing by here is I'm shimmying back, back and forth, 
trying to keep the speed because if you look at the scatter of, of the stones on the floor let's call them they're going slowly forwards and this is the two times speed i think the video is so this is really slow and i'm going up at the moment yeah i didn't realize that <laughs> But yeah, trying to keep our sideways motion down as well. And it looks like we're on a hill. <laughs> Obviously, why not add another problem to our mess? Anyway, as we come down for our final touchdown. Finny Young said, I have an idea for the next episode. Build a mass relay and launch a Kerbal or something else to a planet and back. Possible. I know what you mean, going to multiple planets, I assume you mean. It's like a mass relay that... You have to go refill your space probe or rocket up and then go back to that. To, uh, it's not like a mothership. You land, you take off, refuel, go to another planet perhaps. And we have landed. Can't even see the bloody ground. <laughs> awesome stuff. And who have we got in here anyway? Luke, the space emperor, and Dylan, the sailor. Dylan the sailor, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and here we are. The sun has risen. And they're off on their camping adventure. And they're doing some jumps. Yeah, should really cut the speed down a bit. By the way, if you're wondering how I flipped my rover over, I'm using a mod called Vessel Mover. As we see by here, I can't flip him back over. And they have some nice camping trip supplies there, don't they? I use mess vessel mover, flip it the right way up. <laughs> Just pretend the Kerbals got out and pushed it over. <laughs> Otherwise we'd be here for ages. And I do use Mech Jeb to get the Kerbals around. I thought one spot would be nice and flat. But then I found out that it was really slopey. Ah, uh, me derpy so much here. And also, yeah, I almost forgot, I destroyed the solar panels, it stopped working, so the battery stopped charging. So then we have to send a rescue mission. Well, I'm going to send more, because someone did suggest a base on wheels on the man. So yeah, I thought, why not? It's easily done. Sort of. <laughs> Can be a load of problems. Yeah, this is the part I thought was flat. But I'm looking at an angle on the camera. And it's not flat. Anyway, from Wolf's Fox, I was trying to come up with a fancy word for opposite. I could not think of any damn anything. Damn you, limited knowledge of basic English vocabulary. <laughs> it's alright, I couldn't think of anything. I was trying to think of an awesome name to name the episode. In the end, I stuck with opposite, more is it, yeah, orbit opposite side of the man, opposite, well, opposite orbit of the man. I can't remember what it was called. Is, I think it's orbit of the man or orbit something like that, but people might think it's a space station orbiting the man, and then it's not. And yeah, by the way, this is an awesome tool. Rover Autopilot with MechJeb. You can add waypoints and just let your rover go. Be warned though that uh, you do have a chance of flipping over if you're going to leave your computer for a while while this is happening. Which I've had a couple of times. Luckily, Vessel Mover worked great. <laughs> but the moral of that little story is... Your Kerbals are terrible pilots. <laughs> Drivers. Anyway, from Elite Sax. H-F-W-D-F-G-W. That means Kerbal in Kerbal letters, like you said. Yes, as I say... <laughs> Don't forget to write Kerbal at the beginning of the episode and in the description if you want Kerbal to be added in Kerbal letters. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone finally got me on that. <laughs> hey, Rob1215 or Peter, thank you for letting me be part of this mission. No problem. From a Trish Crab, Kerbal Major XD, you shall be added. Biggest mistake. Can I be in the next episode? Oh, balls, I forgot to add you. Also, you didn't write Kerbal. 
Anyway, this is going to be the rescue mission. This is going to be the main base for the Kerbals, because it has a habitation module on the back. But this time, I decided to go for the Sky Crane method. Yes, and balancing this thing is tough, really hard. Piloting it is even harder. That's all I can say. But I'll let you be the judge as we go and finish building this off. Oh, yes. And by the way, because the sky cranes added weight at doing an angle, look at the spot that that, that rover is at. It's sort of like teetering on the edge, held on by a few bits of space tape. <laughs> I thought this was one of the maddest launches. It took me three launch attempts to do a proper launch. I do do test launches, by the way. And again, a fairing caused the entire thing to explode. Is this a bug in Caspi? In the new version? Are we needing a patch? I hope not. Perhaps it's one of the mods. But you never know. Anyway, as we are launching this behemoth of a rover and rocket, let's read out some more comments as we are on our way to the mod. From Johan Sommer. Oh, Beta, I gave... Go, I'm sorry, obey to go save the Kerbals on the run. Wait, did you get those Kerbals say killed in a save switch? Uh, I didn't switch the saves. I started 1.3 straight off. No, the Kerbals are gone. And then Sparky called Marky. <laughs> I love it. For a joystick, the T... One th uh, 16,000 M is hard to beat. That's the Thrustmaster joystick, by the way. I know because I just bought it. And even in the FCS HOTAS package, it's good quality and cheap for what you get. Yes, at uh, £93, which I'm not sure is in euros or dollars. It's not cheap. Not by my standard, anyway. I'd say, you know, I used to pay it like 30 quid for a joystick, perhaps 40 of the most. But I have to say, this was a well worth investment. And I bought, you know, I use them for Frontier Elite. I haven't mapped them to Kerbal Space Program yet, so space planes, you may get another go yet. <laughs> so I will definitely be using them. However, they are an awesome joystick, so if that is, if you've got the money and you want that, HOTAS, by the way, means hands on stick and throttle. So you've got two hands, you've got one hand on your throttle, one hand on your stick, your flight stick, by the way. <laughs> and it is awesome. It gives you finer control. I can launch and from a space station in Elite. And perhaps just thinking about this, watching this now that we're going to land it, it might have been awesome to use it to land this thing. Yeah, thinking about it, that would have been absolutely cool. I can disable the SAS then and try to control it finally with my own, oh, you know, try to balance it myself. Although it'll probably end in disaster, because I'm still getting used to the thing. Anyway, Luke the Space Emperor says, Kerbal, and yes, you will be. Biohazard Gaming, what is the mods you are using? Well, I did mention it to him, but I use MechJeb, Kerbal Engineer Redux, KW Rocketry, Kerbal Attachment System, Kerbal Inventory System, Environmental Visual Enhancement Mod for the clouds, that one last one was. And also, I'm using Philly Rover parts, that's the front rover parts there. And then, what is it, Kerbal... In, well, interplanetary base mod, I think it's called. I can't remember off the top of my head because it's not written there. But that gives you the the module on the end of the rover, and it gives you those little wheels that sprout out at the side of it. It's awesome because you can build a base, you can have those wheels in it, move the base parts around. You also get docking adapters for it as well, so you can build the base that way. But I've gone for the different approach. Sam wanted a base on wheels. Well, it's, it's like a meal on wheels, isn't it? A base on wheels. So that you can take your meal, your base, anywhere you want to. And I don't know what was happening there. It's just got out of control there. <laughs> oh yes, that's what I remember. I needed to boost the orbit up. Because we were going to be short for the landing spot. We're trying to rescue our rover. It's always best for precision landings, I suppose. But don't forget to go 
a little bit overshoot your target when your do your orbit burns and that because that gives you room to slow down once you slow down even in your app in an atmosphere and to better predict your landing I'm using mech chip by here at the moment because there's no abs no atmospheric no atmospheric no atmosphere to slow you down on this balloon but if you do have an atmosphere there's a trajectories mod which you can install which will help you with that anyway abos is lanky hi your beta awesome video as always thanks for adding me as a kerbal for this mission childhood dream come true i'm in space i've got a mission idea too build a base which is also a rover. And here you go. <laughs> oh yes, and who have we got on this mission? Elite Sax. How dare you. Elite does not say. Oh yes. I did a mistake. You are boosted. Uh, the rocket was going. I was meant to stop the rocket. For instead, I staged. Luckily, the rocket wasn't behind the rover. Otherwise, it would have pushed it back up in space. But it did flip the hell out of it. I think the curvils are... A bit sick. <laughs> and who else have we got in here? Pepe Kerbquel? Did I miscopy that or something? We've got Major XD. <laughs> XD, I suppose it's called. I don't know how, what you wanted me to say there. And we're from Roman Sill. Kerbals. Have. Kerbal. Have Pep Kerbquel. Spacewalk from low miss orbit to the surface and back. Sorry, he's doing a man walk. <laughs> or a moonwalk. Oh, yeah, biohazard game is a what? Oh, yeah, it just reads his note. He's asking about mods. Lan Lechley. Sorry, Lanella Games. I love your videos. Even though I'm really good, I still watch some of your tutorials. And look at that, we landed. Let's boost that thing off. Like the sky crane did on Mars. It's gonna crash off somewhere else. I decided why not watch it? And we can watch it explode together. <laughs> anyway, as this is falling down, Dylan4546 says try and build an interstellar space shuttle that can travel to any planet. Named by name my Kerbal Dylan the Sailor. Man, <laughs> or Sailor Kerbal, or Kerman, I suppose he is at the moment. Anyway, let's get the rover over to the other guys. We can add some solar panels. Just discard the broken one as well. But we can also get our Kerbals on a picture. In a picture, I suppose, um, screenshot. Or selfie, I suppose. Selfie is the word you need to use these days. Anyway, another comment for Okre Flockwenzer. An awesome commenter because I love her comments. Hmm, ideas. Hmm, thinking, thinking. Ah, my circuits are burnt. I gotta fix them so I can think. Oh, I got it. You could build a massive docking station for storing people's designs and using them in the future. It could be like a massive spice gas station. Huzzah! Now you've got... Now we've got business, unless you don't get business, in that case we're poor. Dang it, how could my plan backfire on me before I even tried it? Well, love ya! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, Okra Flockwenser, I always look forward to yours. And lastly, Brian Boyer. What about part 5 of building a space, man, uh, building a space station? I didn't do that in the tutorials, did I? And then I was wondering what he's, this comic was about. He said, what about a space communications array I could do at the time I don't think we had a communications array when I'd done that space station tutorial anyway we are getting the Kerbals out for a picturesque but if you like this video crank that like button like an engineer don't forget to write Kerbal for your Kerbal to be added I'm Orbita trust me I'm an engineer and it's quite hard to get a proper screenshot here I should put the Kerbals near the other over ah oh, well See you.